Let's take a look at calculating mass properties in SolidWorks and Creo Parametric. Here I am in SolidWorks. I have a part opened up. First thing I need to do is assign a material. If we take a look in the feature tree, we can see that the material is not specified. Let's right click and then we can choose to edit material. And here we have a long list of materials that are available to us. Let me jump to a plastic and I will choose our acrylonitrile butadiene styrene, also known as ABS. Let's click the apply button and then close the materials dialog box. You can see that the color updated according to the material definition. Then to take a look at the mass properties, let's go to the evaluate tab. And in here we have the mass properties command on the ribbon. When I click on it, we get a dialog box that opens up. And so inside of here, there's a button to override the mass properties if you so desire. And we have a checkbox for create a center of mass feature. I am going to show you the other place where that command is available in SolidWorks. But here we can see our information in the little window here. It tells us our density, our mass, volume, surface area, and the location of the center of mass in X, Y, and Z coordinates. Then we have our principal axes of inertia and principal moments of inertia taken at the center of mass. And then we have our moments of inertia aligned with the output coordinate system, excuse me, at the center of mass and then those taken at the output coordinate system. So that's the information there. Yeah, this gets a bit into the weeds, but I'll show you some other additional things that you get when you calculate the mass properties in Creole Parametric. This is good. So again, it's pretty straightforward. Oh yeah, one other thing to mention, that you do have a drop-down list if you want to report the mass properties with respect to a different coordinate system than the default. So this is good. Let's close out of here. And now I will take a look at the Features tab. Here we have Reference Geometry. And this is the other place where you can create the center of mass feature. When I click on that, you can see the little indication of the center of mass. Here it is in the tree as well. And if you right click on it, then you are able to create a reference point at the center of mass. And so there we have our center of mass reference point that is available to us in order to create additional geometry or perhaps performing other different calculations or measurements. Now let's jump over to Creo and take a look at the same thing. Okay, in Creo, first step like we did before, let's assign a material. I will right click on the top node in the model tree and then choose edit materials. And we get a little warning about one of the repercussions of the addition of multi-body modeling in Creo 7.0. Let me go to the granted design library. Let's go to plastics. And once again, I will grab our ABS. Let's then add that to the model as the master and then click the OK button. And now for calculating the mass properties, I will go to the analysis tab and then we have the mass properties command. And here we have a dialog box and we can calculate for solid geometry or a quilt or body. This is where you can change the coordinate system for reporting the different quantities and you can change the material from inside of here. Let's hit the preview button and we get the information. It's in this small little area here. If you click on the information button, it will bring it up in a much bigger window that you can save out. And so here we have the same basic information as before. We have the volume, the surface area, the density, and the mass. Then we also have the location of the center of gravity. And then for our inertia information, just like we had in SOLIDWORKS, you get the inertia tensors and they are reported with respect to the default coordinate frame of the model and also with respect to 
the center of mass or center of gravity, how it's called here in Creo. And we also have our principal moments of inertia. But we also get some information like the rotation matrix between the default coordinate system and the principal axes. Also the rotation angle from the default coordinate system to the principal axes and also the radii of gyration with respect to the principal axis. So just a little bit more information here. Let's close out of that small window. And in here, you can also generate the mass properties as a feature in the model. And when we generate it as a feature, then we have the ability to create different parameters for the measurements. So for example, we can check the boxes to create parameters in our model for the principal inertia, and then the X, Y, and Z locations of the center of gravity, and then the principal moments, so forth and so on. Lots of stuff that we can generate as parameters and then use in different analyses, use in measurements, use in different calculations, and also use for optimizations. And here we have the ability to create the point at the center of gravity, similar to SOLIDWORKS. But we also have the ability to create a coordinate system at the center of gravity as well. Let's click the OK button. And if I scroll down to the bottom of the model tree, here you can see the feature. And where the feature appears in the model tree matters that's going to affect the calculations that you're going to get and this is one way that you can measure the change in the mass properties at different points in your regeneration depending on your different design goals so that's how you have mass properties in creo and solidworks i hope you enjoyed this video for more information please visit www.creowindshow.com if you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.